Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. So, I just wanted to do a very interesting little experiment today to see if I can get paint to work inside of those like cake pipettes that we use to decorate cupcakes. And um, you guys are gonna see how it worked out for me. There was a lot of failure. I'm gonna let you in on that little secret now. So first off, I just tried mixing normal paints together, purples, reds, um, blacks, just to get a really pretty deep, deep purple. And you can tell that I'm trying the first pipette and it is not working. It looks good when it first comes out, but of course it's just way too liquid. So what I decided to do was actually go with modeling paste. And instead of like just mixing a little bit of modeling paste into all the paint, I actually decided to use the modeling paste as my paint. So I used the Liquitex liquid colors um, the liquid acrylics to be able to mix up my color and I thought this was going to work. I was so excited because it was definitely a lot thicker than the first acrylic paint but lo and behold I filled it up and it did not work. It was coming out actually quicker than the acrylic was. Um, just as soon as I filled it up it was dripping out and that the acrylic paint didn't do that so that was interesting and so of course it did not work. I just basically had a bunch of little piles of purple poop. <laughs> so that was kind of a bummer. Okay, y'all, this has been a major fail so far, uh, but I am determined to make this work because my idea is to put roses on top of this heart um, for someone who wanted art for trade. Um, so yeah, I'm a little frustrated. Maybe if this modeling paste dries a little bit, that might help. Uh, because it will thicken up some, but I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to give it some time and see what happens. Recipe. Um, and then one person used an actual thickening agent, but y'all can see it's way thicker now. So hopefully this will work. It's a lot more like a cake paste. Um, and I'm going to try to use the same one that I used earlier because it's pretty empty. So let me load it up here and we'll give it a shot. Y'all, I don't freaking know how the hell they do this. Oh, I mean, they look so pretty coming out and then it just starts to get too much. So then what I'm doing is I'm adding baking soda and I thought I added enough. Um, okay, maybe thicken it up a little bit more. And I'm going to put these things back in there and see if that helps too. So I'm going to go back to this other one since it's already out. I'll do this one and then get another pipette thingy going. Boy, okay, I'm making a disastrous mess. So you guys can see that adding baking soda that first time did not work. Um, so now I'm adding even more. Y'all, I poured like an entire cup of baking soda into this little cup. I guess it looks like a pile of purple poop <laughs> but it actually looks like a flower to me and then so doing a bunch of these right next to each other oh it's not coming out the middle though I wonder why 
Oh, probably because I was out of paint. Okay, so maybe that's why. Maybe that makes a big difference. Let's try that again. Load it up with this super thick, super thick paint. And then push it through myself. Okay. Um, how did I get one good one and then now every single one of them is crap? And I got it to work. I did. But for some reason, the middle was not coming out like I had expected. I think it's when I focus on pushing in the middle. And it's only like the first three that come out that are really good. Hmm. This is crazy how much practice this takes. Holy crapola. Okay, you guys. So I think I figured out the trick to this. Um, if you hold it a little above, let it sort of fill up to that point and then pull up. It seems to get a pretty good flower. Um, that was the last bit of it though. So I think once it gets towards the end, it's not as effective. So let me try that again without that being super empty. Okay, let's try this theory again. So do it a little above, push it out until it's full and comes up to that same point and pull up. Boom, whoa, that's good. Push it out until it's full and pull up. Oh, those are good flowers. Those are real good flowers. Okay, I'm confident that this is gonna work now. Boom, okay, yep, it's beautiful. I'm just gonna keep filling it up. Maybe that's gonna be like my best option. Fill it up, grab the glove, stick it in there, and let's go. Let's start right here. When I move on to actually piping them on the heart, I have the exact same issue. I was getting great flowers, but then after a few, for some reason, I couldn't get the middle to come out no matter how hard I tried. And so, um, what had happened was I just decided to go ahead and scratch my whole project. Um, I did about four or five flowers that looked really good and then it seemed like it was a hit or miss and it wasn't worth it because it's acrylic paint and I didn't know if I'd be able to really clean it off once it started to dry more too because it does dry really fast. So um, all in all, I mean, it was very interesting and fun to do, but I'm not sure I would really do it again unless someone had a surefire recipe of, hey, yeah, this will work in the pipettes, uh, but I couldn't get it to work. So um, what I decided to do was just draw, uh, or not draw, paint roses with just normal acrylic paint and an angled brush. And so I just painted a bunch of roses onto the heart with the deep purple and the white and just alternating, having one of them be on the outside and the other one be on the inside. I think obviously it turned out beautiful at that point, um, but unfortunately for me, I'm going to have to call this one a fail because I could not get the pipettes to work properly. If y'all have and you know a recipe, please share it with everyone below in the comments. That'd be fantastic. Um, if you guys like to see more videos like this, um, I definitely do a lot of experiments. I like to have fun with it and fail for your sake to hopefully save you some time. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you guys on Sunday live at 5.